Today, I'll be showing you how to simply back up your phone information on your Google account so you can transfer your info to your new or current device simply by signing in to your Google account. Let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Lucky with Lucky Tech Life where I help everyday people level up with tech. I love my Android devices and most importantly, I love my info inside my devices. With Google, I love how my contacts, my photos, and settings are completely backed up with Google. So I'm ready to get a new phone. I am all set when I sign in with my Google account. To help us get started, we must sign in to our Gmail account. And so the first thing that we have to do is go to settings, go to accounts and backup here, and then all the way up in manage accounts. Like for my email here, I already have my Gmail, but you can go to add accounts and then you click on Google. It will have you sign in. And if you don't know how to do all that and create a new email account, click on this link above top here or check in the description down below. Then we want to go into your settings page again and look for accounts and backup again. Or some cases, most phones will have a search bar right here and you can just type in backup and then it'll have you backup data Google Drive, backup data Samsung Cloud, but for this purpose we're doing backup data and we're doing Google Drive. Mainly where I go to is I go to accounts and backup here in the settings and then it's the same place where it takes you when you search for the backup option. You go to Google Drive and backup data. Then we want to make sure that Google One backup is turned on. So in that way, when you are ready to back up your phone, you just hit backup now. Then you'll see a progress bar up top here. You will have this bar that's going to move pretty slow. And then when it goes all the way to the right, that means it has been backed up. And once when it's backed up there, you'll see a time and date stamp right underneath your Google One backup. When you create a Google account, Google is going to give you just 15 gigabytes of space. So it's not a lot of information that you can store right into your Google account. But if you click on manage storage there, you can actually purchase more storage space, see how much stuff is taking up your storage space, and you can actually manage it and see what you need to delete or add from there. Make sure that you have the date and time stamped to ensure that your stuff is saved. An important call out here, and this is optional, is all the way in the bottom here, you'll see advanced settings where it has backup using mobile or metered Wi-Fi data. I have that turned on. So in that way, when I am out and about, when I am not at home in my Wi-Fi, I can actually back up my phone with using my unlimited internet that I have for my provider. Before we get started with the restore steps, if you're getting a lot of good content from this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell button for some more great content every week. And hit that like button so more people like you can learn from this video as well. Now let's continue on with the restore steps. Now, when we want to restore your information from your backup, Let's just pretend that this is your new phone or it's your phone that you have factory reset, erased, and it's back at clean, normal slate. We want to hit start here and we want to go into our copy apps and data function. Now, when we are in our copy apps and data screen, we want to hit next. Use your old device. Well, I always say cannot use old device. Now, all you have to do is sign in with your Google account. Now, when we sign in, we can locate the most recent backup. It will have a date and timestamp listed. And so I had my phone backed up six days ago and I just did a recent backup nine minutes ago. I like to go to the six days one because I had my full backup. Hit next and it's going to have you press your lock screen code that you had previously on your old phone and then enter your old lock screen if you had one. In this screen here, you can actually check out what you had backed up before. So photos and videos will automatically view in Google Photos, apps, contacts, text messages, 
device settings, MMS call history, and it was 1.9 gigabytes worth of information on my phone. And when you are ready, just hit restore. Now in these steps, I like to just skip everything and just hit accept. So that way I can go right to the main screen. Now we're at the restoring screen. It will next have you go into the main screen and it will still populate with information that was on your backup. You may notice that your phone has not been completely restored yet. If you go into these app menu here, you can actually see my apps are grayed out. And if we scroll down from the notification panel, it will still say completing setup. It will take some time, but it will go by itself in order to restore everything back onto your phone. And I get a lot of questions too about how and when should I transfer my SIM card over from my old phone to my new phone? Well, I always do the SIM card transfer right after when everything is all restored because you can just take the SIM card tool out. This is a little hole here on the side on my Samsung Z Flip 3. I just take a little SIM card tool remover, a little you know needle or a, a um, little paper clip. I input that in there and the tray pops right out. And I'll just take that little SIM card and transfer it over to my new device. And then after that, that's it for today's video. Subscribe for more topics like this and product reviews by clicking here. And to give you some more juicy content, click here to get started with a Gmail and then click here for another way to transfer your phone content if you have a Samsung phone. But until next time, I will catch you all next week in a new video. Peace.